another episode of the Real Estate Wife Show. I'm your host, Vinky Lumba, and today our guest is Jay Connor. Jay is a proven real estate investment leader and is known as the Private Money Authority. Wow, I love that title. Wanted to ask you about that. And he's also an author of a book, Where to Get the Money Now. Jay has also coached thousands of real estate investors on how to raise private money. And today we'll learn about the private money and some techniques how to raise private money from Jay. Welcome, Jay, to my show. Hello, Vinky. Thank you so much for inviting me to come along. I'm so excited to be here to talk about my favorite subject, and that's private money for real estate. Wow, I'm super excited to have you with me today. So before we get started, I wanted to ask you if you can share a little bit about your background with me and how did you become who you are today? Sure. Thank you for that question. Yes, yeah, so um, my wife, Carol Joy, and I, we live here in Eastern North Carolina. We're in a small market, only 40,000 people. We've been full-time flippers since 2003. We've rehabbed over a little over 450 houses. And here's how we got involved with private money. From 2003 until 2009, our first six years, we totally relied on local banks, institutions, mortgage companies to fund our real estate deals. And Vinky, I remember it just like yesterday in January 2009, I actually picked up this telephone. I mean, we actually still have landlines mm -hmm. in North Carolina, if you can believe it. I picked up my telephone to call my banker. I had two deals under contract that for funding. And I'd already had a long six-year relationship running with my banker. And I learned in that conversation, uh, Vinky, very quickly that I had lost my line of credit. I had no way to fund my deals. And nobody at the bank had told me. He says, well, it's because of the global financial crisis. So anyway, I hung up the phone. I sat here for a moment. And I called my friend Jeff, who lived in Greensboro, North Carolina at the time. I told Jeff what had happened. He said, welcome to the club. I said, welcome to what club? He said, the club of losing your lines of credit at the bank. I said, he said, um, I lost my lines of credit last week. I said, well, what are we going to do? Well, in that conversation, Vinky, I heard for the very first time this phrase called private money. I'd never heard of private money. Jeff also told me about self-directed IRAs. I'd never heard about self-directed IRAs. And how important that is to be involved with this world of private money. So I learned all about private money. I put my program together and I started teaching people here in my local area what private money is and how they can earn high rates of return safely and securely. So Vinky, within less than 90 days, I was able to raise $2,150,000 in new private money funding for my real estate deals. And you know what? Since that time, I've never missed out on a deal because I did not have the funding for my real estate deals. Wow, great. So now the golden question is, what is private money? Well, we better get straight on that, right? So first, let me answer what private money is not. Private money is not hard money. You see what hard money or hard brokers are is hard money lenders go out and raise private money from individuals and then they have people invest into a fund and then a hard money lender will loan money out from that fund. Well, in my world of private money, we circumvent the hard money lender, the hard money broker, and we go directly to the private lenders. So the private lender is an individual individual. It's a human being. Just like you, just like me that loans money primarily from either their investment capital or and or their retirement funds that they have moved over to a, an IRS approved self-directed IRA company and they loan us money from their retirement funds. So individuals, not banks, and as simple people like you, like me. Nice. So are you a private money lender yourself? Share Absolutely. Your Absolutely. I loan out money from my retirement account because I have my retirement funds 
in a self-directed IRA account that's approved by the IRS. So I, do, I like the business both ways. Being a private lender is totally passive. All I do is sit back and collect checks. There's no finding deals, negotiating deals, closing deals, rehabbing deals, you know, turning a self-storage unit, um, you know, um, existing property around, increasing rents. Uh, rents. A private lender just loans their money out and gets a high rate of return safely and secure, securely. So I'm a private lender and I also borrow a lot of private money from private lenders as well for my projects. Interesting. So I'm going to ask you a question. Um, can this money be used for the real estate deals? Yes, yeah, so private money, uh, we use it for any kind of real estate deals, single family houses, self storage, commercial, small apartments, duplexes, quadplexes, triplexes. It's all the same money. We just structure the deals a little bit differently. Oh, would you please walk me through the process a little bit? How would I use my retirement account? as a private lender maybe sure so the way it works is first of all for a person to use their retirement funds now these are dedicated retirement funds either a 401k a pension um you know any kind uh, a roth ira um any kind of dedicated retirement funds that is either like a Roth IRA is like you pay taxes ahead of time, a 401k, you're paying taxes when you actually cash out on those funds. So a, an individual can take retirement funds and they can transfer those funds to an IRS approved self-directed IRA company, tax-free, penalty-free, and then the private lender can loan that money out to a real estate investor and depending on the type of retirement account they've got, uh, it's either all the returns they get are not limited. They can get all the money, no limit per year, at least tax deferred or tax free, depending on the type of retirement account that they've got. Wow, interesting. So I understand in the retirement too, when you roll over, you have a rollover IRA or you can set up an EQRP. <laughs> because I have an EQRP for myself. So is there a difference, right, investing from the IRA account or from the EQRP, or what is the difference between the two? So essentially from a tax perspective, there's really no difference. You're either deferring paying your taxes or you've already paid the taxes ahead of time. And what's wonderful about it is that there's no limit to the money that you can earn per year, um, as you know, according to the IRS. Oh, wow. So what is your favorite reasons to use this private money? Oh, my lands. As a borrower, as a real estate investor, um, if I'm doing residential houses, my favorite reason for using private money for deals is, and there's a long list, like your credit's got nothing to do with it, your credit score, your verification of Income's got nothing to do with the, nothing to do with it. Number one, when borrowing private money, we get 100% of the purchase price, regardless of what kind of real estate it is. Whether it's a house, self-storage, commercial, we get 100% of the purchase price. And if we're going to rehab, we get 100% of all the of rehab money up front. So there's no draws, right? So it fixes our cash flow problem. And in every case, I always bring home money from the purchase. I never have to take any of my own money to the closing. And of course, you know, if you're using traditional funds, hard money, commercial lenders, whatever, you always got to bring skin in the game, right? They always want skin in the game. But in this world, you get paid to buy properties without bringing any of your own money to the closing table. And you receive multiple checks. Uh, so like on a residential house, I'll get a big check when I buy. If I happen to sell on rent to own or lease purchase, I get another check. And then when I cash out, I get another check. 
So private money, Vinky, is the best way I know and the quickest way for a real estate investor to fix their cash flow problems. Yeah, I love that. But the question is how to raise the private money, how to connect with these people who have this high net worth retirement accounts so we can leverage that. So if you can shed some light on that. Absolutely. First of all, you got to get the real estate owned in between your ears first. You got to own that real estate. Here's what I mean by that. It all comes down to mindset and the framing. Did you know, Vinky, in all these years since I started raising private money in 2009, I've never asked anybody for money. I've never applied for money. Here's how we do it. We put on my, you put on your teacher hat, you become a teacher and you teach people how to become a private lender. You teach people what private money is. So there's three primary categories of where to find private money and private money lenders. The first category is what we call our warm market. We call that relationship money, mom and pop money. So those are people that are potential private lenders that you have some kind of connection with, some kind of relationship with. You know, they're in your cell phone. They're in your social media. They're on your Facebook. They're in your LinkedIn. They're in your Instagram. Any kind of social network. You go to church with them. You're in a civic club with them. You go to the Rotary Club. You're in the Chamber of Commerce with them. They are your poker card players. Any kind of social, any kind of warm relationship. They are family. They are friends. They are coworkers. They are fellow employees. Any kind of connection that you already have um, with these people, that's the warm market. And there are five easy steps on getting private money from the warm market. The second category, and by the way, I'm going to give away my private money guide, absolutely free. And it goes through those steps, step by step, how to do that. The second category of locating private lenders are what we call existing private lenders. Well, where in the world do you find existing individuals, existing private lenders that are individuals just like us that are loaning money out? Well, there's a number of places. My favorite place to find them are people that have accounts already at self-directed IRA companies, right? And so self-directed IRA companies have networking events in person. They also these days have networking events on Zoom. So you can attend these networking events. Here's what's interesting, Binky. 70% approximately, 70% or more of account holders at self-directed IRA companies are wanting to lend their money out to real estate investors, just like you, just like me. They're looking for a home. And here's what's interesting. Prior to COVID, there was $18 trillion in cash mm -hmm. sitting on the sidelines in retirement accounts waiting to find a home. Today, there's $31 trillion. I just got this statistic two months ago. There's $31 trillion in cash of retirement accounts just sitting on the sidelines looking for a home. So all we got to do is network with these people that have these existing funds. That's the second category. The third category of private lenders are what I call your expanded network, your expanded warm market. And you may think, people may think to themselves, Jay, what in the world is an expanded warm market? Well, I'll tell you what an expanded warm market is. Sometimes my students will say to me, they'll say, Jay, my warm market is broke. My family ain't got no money. My friends ain't got no money. My coworkers ain't got no money. I ain't got no connections with money. Well, that's why networking is so important in this world of private money. Networking, where do you network? 
get involved in your community. Become a part of your civic groups. Get involved in the Rotary Club. Get involved in the Kiwanis Group. Get involved in Business Networking International. I've got millions of dollars from my local Business Networking International members that have referred private lenders to me. So networking is very, very important as well. And um, I tell you, one of my favorite reasons on private money that you asked me about a moment ago is I get to make the rules. You get to make the rules. When we're borrowing private money, the private lender isn't telling us the terms. The private lender isn't telling what's the maximum loan to value. The private lender isn't telling us what the interest rate is. The private lender is not telling us how often we have to make monthly payments. It's our program. It's a 180 degree dichotomy shift. When I was borrowing money from the banks, who made the rules? They made the rules. But in this world of private money, we as the borrower make the rules. We have our program. My private money guide will teach exactly what my private money program is, what interest rate I pay, how often they get payments, how we can get money back or how they can get money back early in case they have an emergency. And so we just put on our teacher hat. We're not chasing, we're not begging, we're not selling, we're not trying to talk anybody in anything. In fact, you may find this interesting, Vinky. I have never pitched a deal. I've never pitched a deal to a private lender. And people ask me, they say, Jay, how in the world have you got eight and a half million dollars in private money that you use, just use from project to project to project? And you've never asked anybody for money, but they loan you the money. Here's how I do it. I teach them what private money is. I teach them my private lending program, what interest rate they're going to get, how they're protected, how it's safe, how it's secure. And it only takes 20 minutes to go through the presentation. And at the end of the presentation, guess what? They're chasing me. Right. They're chasing me. They're chasing me. They tell me how much they've got to work with. And here's what I do, Vinky, and I'll come up for air and let you talk. But here's what I do when I've got a deal for them to fund. They've already told me how much they got. They've told me if it's cash. They've told me if they've needed to move it over to a self-directed IRA company. And you know what, Vinky, when I've got a deal, I call them up and I tell them four things. This is all they want to know. I call them up and I'll say, let's say, Vinky, let me say, let's say you're one of my private lenders. Uh -huh. I'll call you up and say, Vinky, I've got fantastic news. I can now put your $300,000 to work. I've got a house over here in Newport. The after repaired value is $400,000. Mm -hmm. The funding required is $300,000 for the deal. The closing is next Thursday. So I'll need for you to have your wire, your funds wired to my real estate attorney next Thursday, and we will close the deal. End of conversation. I didn't ask you for the money. I knew you wanted to do the deal. You already knew the private lending program, and you've been waiting for that phone call, anxiously anticipating, ready to do the deal. I never, I never tell a new private lender, <coughs> excuse me, I never tell a new private lender about my program, <clears throat> and a deal. I'm already sounding desperate. If I'm telling somebody about my private lending program and a deal over here I need funded, I'm desperate. But if I just teach the private lending program, they're all in, they love it. We know how much they got to work with. I may call them back in a week, two weeks, three days, as soon as possible to put that money to work, call them up. I tell them I got great news and they are ready to fund the deal. Oh, that's great. And they can uh, do the private lending or they can invest in a uh, syndication too. Like I'm Absolutely. a syndicator. So they can Absolutely. participation in a syndication game as well. So Absolutely. people have a choice, whatever way they want it to do is as long as they understand what private money is and how they can leverage their retirement accounts. So Absolutely. Yeah, like, you know, in the world of commercial, like you do, I mean, you do a ton of commercial deals. Uh, in most of those cases, I'm sure you're going to do syndication, which is creating a fund for people to invest in. And yeah, 
I mean, they understand the program. They're investing in the program. And I mean, my lands, I just checked, make it last week. You know, the national yield on a 12-month certificate of deposit at the local bank is less than a quarter of a percent a year, 0.17%. And you come along and offer them the kind of rates that we're offering, where else can they get these rates of return safely and securely? Nowhere. That's true. That's true. I think just the gap is the education and connecting with the right connections. So I'm going to ask you this question. Initially, once you uh, started in the beginning, you're talking about, you know, how your line of credit was dried up and your friend mentioned about the private money. At that point, which meetups or networks did you join? If you can share some details on that from my audience so they know what networks are, you know, worthwhile or what's your time? Absolutely. Yeah, I connected with Quest. Q-U-E-S-T, they're based out of Houston, Texas. They have the best customer service of anybody I know. They're not like one of the big houses. They're a smaller boutique, but still they've got under management in the billions of dollars. And so the, what their website is www.questtrust.com with two T's back to back. I'm great friends with the principals of that company. Customer service, hands down the best. Hey, listen, Mickey, I get my deals funded from Quest from my private lenders that have an account there in three days, three days from the time we send the promissory note and the deed of trust, they fund that deal. And that's so important when you have a motivated seller to be able to close quickly. Right, exactly. And you wrote a book too, right? We have to get the money now. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I say money now is better than money later, right? That's so yeah, true. Uh, it's a bestseller on Amazon. It hit number one uh, just a few months ago. And uh, the book is free. Uh, it's, now it's not free on Amazon, but I'll give you the URL where the book, uh, where you can get the book for free, just cover shipping costs. Um, you can get the Where to Get the Money Now book that goes into all these details step-by-step step that I'm talking about at www.jayconner, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com. I'm not an O-R, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash book, or you can just go to jayconner.com and see it right there on the landing page uh, and, and get the book. Um, so yeah, the book goes into great detail as to exactly how all these pieces fit together. So please share with me, uh, what made you write this book? What made me write this book is because I started investing in 2003. I started using 2000, uh, private money in 2009. And then I started coaching real estate investors in 2011. And I tell you, Vinky, the most common question I got was, where do I get the money? Where do I get the money, right? And, you know, we all know about terms, deals, creative financing. You know, you can buy properties with seller financing and all this and that. But when it comes to houses, only 13% of off-market of for sale by owners will sell to us creatively. What do the other 87% require? All the cash. So I wrote this book to fix the problem for real estate investors on where to get the money for their real estate deals. And I also saw on your website, uh, your, the Private Money Academy, I think there's some kind of course. So can you talk about actually, that as well? It's a, actually, it's a membership. It's a oh. monthly membership. I do live training on Zoom the second and fourth Wednesday afternoons at 4 p.m. Eastern time, that's 1 p.m. Pacific time, the second and fourth Wednesday afternoons for one hour, I do live Zoom training all about private money. And for your audience, uh, Vinky, I'll give them a 30-day free trial, no obligation. They can do that at www.jayconner.com forward slash trial and uh, they can come hang out see how they like the zooms i answer all kinds of real estate investing questions but the focus is getting money for any kind of real estate deal you got 
Great. Earlier you mentioned that uh, you never lost any deal. You've been doing really good. That your trajectory is kind of upward for you. So I wanted to ask you, did you ever lose money on any deal? Can you share I that experience? So, I am so blessed, Manky. I have never lost money on a deal. And I'll tell you why. The secret is not in estimating repairs perfectly. The secret is in making the offer. So we make our offers at such a substantial discount. You know, Murphy, we know who Murphy is. If anything can, can go wrong, it does. Murphy shows up in every deal. Murphy shows up in every property. Sometimes, not only Murphy, sometimes Murphy's cousins and brothers and sisters, they show up unexpectedly. So repairs at any kind of project, self-storage, commercial, residential, there's always the unexpected. But when we know, when you know how to make the offer correctly, and we're not going to borrow a more than 75% of the after repaired value, that gives our private lenders a great big cushion, you know, in case there's a downturn in the market or, you know, the unexpected comes along, everybody is protected. So that's your technique, right? Kind of lowballing. Um, yes. on the purchase price. So that way you have a, enough cushion and that you make the deal work for you. Exactly. Is there any other techniques that you can share with us? So as far as getting the deal? Mm -hmm. or the, in the deal as a whole, how to make the deal work? Yeah, how to make the deal work. Uh, you better have a good team. You cannot do this business by yourself. So it, you know, I didn't build it overnight but I have excellent relationship with my general contractors. I've got the same acquisitionist for 15 years, mm -hmm. same acquisitionist. Mm -hmm. I got the same bookkeeper since 2011. So take care of your people and your people will take care of you. Do not attempt to do this business by yourself. And the best advice I could give is, whether you're self-storage, commercial, residential, it doesn't matter. Do not start this business by yourself. If you're interested in self-storage or commercial, you know, you need to join hips with someone like Vinky, somebody that knows what they're doing, has got experience. Because here's what I say, you're going to pay for your education one way or the other. And you don't want to pay for your education by making your, your own mistakes when somebody else can be helping you out. That's true. I always say that, you know, life is too short. The best way to learn is learn from other people's mistakes. Because there's Absolutely. no possible way we can do, make all the mistakes in one lifetime and learn everything ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Teamwork is the best work. So what is your current focus now? So my current focus right now is just doing everything I can to get the word out to new real estate, new real estate investors, seasoned real estate investors on how to get the funding for their deals. You know, this side of COVID, regardless of your political affiliation, it doesn't matter. The fact is the White House has printed more money in the basement of the White House in the current administration than any other administration in this short period of time. What does that mean? There's so much money on the street, people don't know what to do with it, and they've got it. And all we got to do is relieve them of their problem and show them the private lending program to where they can get high rates of return safely and securely. And, you know, don't be getting a quarter of a percent return at the local bank. So my passion, my mission is to show people how to get the funding for their deals so they can do what? So they can make a difference in their community and they can give back. You know, it's never about the money. It's never about the money. It's about what can the money do for us and to be good stewards of our money so we can serve other people and make an impact. You know, it's like in foreclosures. Foreclosures are going to be at an all-time high this year in so many years. And we as real estate investors are going to have so many opportunities to serve people that are in foreclosure before their properties go to sale, help them get back on their feet and create win-win scenarios. It's all about having a servant's heart, giving back 
and making a difference, making an impact in your community. You said it very well. When the purpose is bigger than profit, it's all profit. And Absolutely. You know, you know, like I was I was riding down the road not too long ago, and a dear friend of mine, he was driving, I was riding in his car. He said, he asked me an interesting question. He said, Jay, when is enough enough? I said, Neil, what do you mean? Seriously? When is enough enough? He says, well, he says, you're very successful. You don't have to work. You could sit home all day if you wanted to. He says, how do you, Jay, reconcile the Bible teaching to be content, but still yet you're out here Work, 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 work. I said, oh, Neil, I have the answer. Enough is never enough when it's not about you. That's true. You said it very well. I love it. You gave me so many golden nuggets, but I'm going to ask you for one more golden nugget from my audience. I'm ready. Well, I don't know if I'm ready or not, but <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm ready to listen. <laughs> uh, so golden nugget is listen more talk less then you can pick up more thank you so much so this brings us to our rapid fire round i'm going to ask you five questions you're going to answer in one sentence on one word so first question is what is one of the best skills that you have learned that it works for you all the time be an excellent communicator as you just said by listening to what the other person wants and needs. What is the best book that you have read or recommend? The University of Success by Og Mandino. It changed my life when I was 24 years old. Great. What is your biggest passion? My biggest passion? Mm-hmm. Our church, Carol Joy, my wife and I are very, very involved in our church, um, and we just love it. We've been a member of the same church since 1988, so um, the spiritual part of our lives is very, very important to us, and we write and record Christian music for our church members and for God. Wow, that's awesome. In one word. What does life mean to you? Service. I love that. If you got a chance to change something in your life, what would it be? Take more time to rest and reflect. I love it. How can people reach out to you, Jay? <laughs> well, the easiest way is www.jayconner.com, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com. But in addition to that, can you believe it, Vinky? We actually answer the telephone. So, <laughs> and so, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I love helping people any way I can. So here's my phone number, 252-808-2927. We're here on the East Coast in North Carolina. 252-808-2927. And be sure and download the free money guide, jayconner.com, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash money guide to get you on the fast track to private money. Thanks for coming to my show, Joe, Jay. I really enjoyed our conversation today. God bless you, Vinky. Thank you for having me. And I mean... Oh, 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 oh,